Hey, hey, hello, welcome to my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Galtuba. I'm back with another collective reading for all of you. And today we are going to do the reading about for my collective viewers watching this video, what's happening for you, what's coming next in any area of your life that you, what do you need to know right now? What's going to happen next for you? What is coming next for you? What are you manifesting or who is manifesting you? All that stuff. It's going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in description you can uh, reach out to me if you want to link is uh, given in description of my instagram you can follow me there do not get scammed i will never contact you anywhere on social media this one this card wanted to pop up, pop up okay no i was not ready so let's go let's see it what's happening for you but i think someone wants to talk to you someone wants to Someone definitely want to talk to you. But let's see. It's like this person is holding back. They're resisting. They're trying to control it. Oh yeah, look at this. Page of Cup. This is definitely communication. It's about... This person could be shy, okay? Like they could be very shy. They could be even nervous. This is someone who's also very like... They could be crushing on you. They could be on the initial stages of um, in love. You know, they're falling in love. Are they feeling so nervous and shy? So they don't know how to handle this uh, emotions or feelings. This could be even someone who is getting butterflies. When they think about you, they get blush. They get shy. They get, you know, like, it's like a butterflies energies. And uh, this person really feel butterflies, get butterflies when they see you, they look at you or they maybe think, oh my God, the thought of you is even, I think, make this person so. Yeah, it's look like this person is crushing on you. They really want to talk to you. Now, a very strange thing. I'm, I'm feeling this person could even born into a pig ear, but it's also going to be like a puppy love. I'm hearing or something about this person. Eyes are like puppy or this person has a puppy. Maybe you're going to meet, you maybe see this person every day when you are walk by your puppy or something like that, something to do with your puppy. But this is also someone, I think, I don't think so. This person is taller, like they're like, um, not that much taller. I don't know why I'm picking. So that could be a sign, but let's see. Oh yeah, look at this. Four of pentacles, that was four of pentacles and reverse and five of cups. interesting we have the sun yeah look at the sun you are the sun this person is like okay this person is definitely right now um feeling the energies it's like they are definitely in this energy of like they want to lose this control they really want to tell you they want to express it it's like this person is really mesmerized by your energy your aura you are the sun like look at the sun i hope you can see that how she is radiating the sun so I'm just focusing on that. This person really sees your aura, like the way you are. Your energy is really bright. So this person can see you everywhere. They feel you everywhere. This person really... You can even help... In the, uh, you, you may be even helping this person to get out of this darkness. You're helping them to get out of like... This energy of being... Like trying to control things. Or even feeling lonely, okay? With the Five of Cups, where they really want to... It's like they're seeing you as a hope. They're seeing you as a hope, like light at the end of the tunnel. Something about uh, seeing you. I'm hearing this person see you and they believe there is a good people exist in this world. You really bring the smile on this person's face. You're also very free-spirited. Uh, so this person really... Something about your energy your aura. You maybe connect with the nature a lot. Some of you... Um, you could be Leo watching this video or you have a very, like something about your son. Yeah, maybe your son is conjunct with your ascendant or you have a son in first house because there's something about your appearance, your, the way you talk, the way you are, your personality, your aura is really standing out in this person's eyes. And they feel like this, like sun, you can see that they're heated up. They feel like you are this bright light that... It's like shining there and they're watching you and the more i think this person is like it's like they're very like the more they look at you the more they fall for you the more they're like wow so it's like that type of energy here this person is in awe of you like oh this person that type of energy is i'm picking up yeah wheel of fortune so this person is definitely 
getting ready it's just a matter of the divine timing when they're just ready i think they will definitely out of blue or out of the sudden they're going to reach out to you and they're going to contact you or they're going to express but i also seeing this person think that with the wheel of fortune and the sun they're definitely finally believing that you're the soulmate or you have something to do um like your meeting with each other is definitely something to do with the destiny it's just not happened like it's just not a coincidence that's what this person is thinking now the wheel i think the wheel is going to turn in your favor because or maybe they feel like they're lucky to have you they're lucky to have you know the person like you in their life this person could be leo or sagittarius uh oh yeah capricorn the devil this person is really really controlling they're really trying to control it uh it's interesting that we have a sun jupiter and um saturn uh here so these are the three big planets and they're also like some type of a leadership uh type of a planet it's like very strong very powerful so this person could be either with the sun card could be very powerful or this is someone who's seeing you you're very powerful now you could be powerful person like as a will like you have a strong courage and strength you're not afraid you're just your aura is like giving very expensive i'm hearing expensive uh, you're expensive okay now some of you this person could be uh, expensive in materialistic way because i'm seeing with the wheel of fortune and the devil they could be wor they worked very hard for the money and they have a materialistic wealth but you with the sun energy i feel like your energy is is, is expensive you are unique and different in your own way you're beautiful you're yeah you're beautiful i'm hearing the song you're beautiful You are beautiful. You don't need to do, you don't need to change. Wait a minute. Uh, what what song I'm channeling? Yeah, I'm channeling the song Alessia Cara. Scares to you're beautiful. Yeah, just you just need to listen to that. That's what this person is feeling for you. Like you don't need to do anything. You don't need to change anything. You're beautiful. You need just, you just need to know that, that you're beautiful. I'm hearing. Yeah, that's what this person is feeling about you. And how you can see that, how this person is like, I think this person is like wanting to be with you. They could be even obsessed with you. This person is obsessed with you. And you can see that, and this is not, this person cannot even, it's like they're, they're hearing your name everywhere. When they listen the song, because I was channeling the songs, whenever this person listen any song or they're listening to songs and they just, you know, I think you're continuously on this person's mind. And you are also, I think, reminded by the universe somehow. So they feel like everything is really connected with you. Why? It's like it's really driving them crazy. I can see that. This person is really going crazy. It's really driving them. They're really obsessed with you, by the way. Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who wants a new beginning with you. Or they, they, they are ready for, you know, a new beginning. But it's look like this person is looking for something serious and solid. They don't want to... They see something in you that's solid, long-term. Saturn and Jupiter. They see the long-term. They're not here to play. They don't want to have fun. Or they see you. This is like you're not gonna... They don't want to mess up with you. They really don't want to. Look what I told you. Knight of Cups. So this is definitely someone who is about to make a move. They want to express their feelings to you. This could be even Capricorn. With the water placements, or they could be even a water sign. But I'm strongly feeling Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancerian energy, Sagittarius, Aries could be also. Look what with the Seven of Wands. This person sees that you're not, you're not letting down your guards. You're protecting your 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 aura, your energy, or your heart. You could be even defensive toward this person. Like you're not allowing this person to welcome. Because this could be a new person. For some of you, this person is a new person. And others of you, this is this is someone that you had some type of issues with. When I'm talking about issues with, it is with the devil energy. It was something with the devil and wheel of fortune came up together. So it's mean you maybe either block this person or you keep blocking this person with the energy. You're like, no, I'm just outgrowing you. I'm just growing I don't want to be, and this person is, the more you're getting detached, or you already detached from this person, the more this person is going crazy for you. Because they can't get over you. This is someone who definitely wants a new beginning. 
with you. It's an it's a new beginning. It's like they have eyes on on you. But I'm also feeling you could even have. We will see. But I mostly feel this could be a new person, and because of your past, because of your past experience, you're really not, you know, wanting to deal with anyone. So this is that person. I think they really want to. I think they're trying very hard. Nine of Cups, yeah. Look at the lottery. So some of you, you're definitely going to win the lottery being with this person. But it's just not a lottery. I think you're going to get because I that's what I was talking about. Some of you could have a red hair, purple hair, blue hair, dark hair, maybe or blonde hair. Because there's something about your hair, this person likes it. Look at this materialistic thing. It's like, you know, like, it's like lottery. Something that you're winning, something that you're gaining. Um... So it could be materialistic. Be being with this person is definitely going to bring you materialistic wealth. But you will also be happy being with this person. But this person wants your energy the way you are. They want that. They want this love. They, they are... Because they know that there's something about you. Your energy. Your aura. They're in love. They're falling in love. But I think this person is already obsessed with you. It's most, more than crush now. It's just like... They're falling deep for you. And with the Nine of Cups and the Sun, some of you, I think you already free yourself from this person energy uh, because you used to be maybe obsessed with this person. You used to maybe chase them. You used to want to control the situation, this person, but you're like, no. So you may be already like done the cycle. You're like, no, I'm just calling my energy to myself. I'm putting the fo focus on myself. So this is that is why this person is going crazy for you. This is the effect of that detachment, basically. So you're focusing on more on your happiness, your healing. Either you are already healing and you don't have anyone in your life because we have the Nine of Cups, it's like you're single. And Seven of Wands, you don't want to deal with the drama because you're like, no, I don't have a time. But this is not someone like going to be with someone that you already dealt with in the past. This is definitely someone who's going to put the effort. Like literally, you're going to see that this person is going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying. They will keep winning your heart. Until they're going to, I think this person really wanna, it's like they're gonna keep trying until you will say yes, I'm hearing. Because I think this person definitely going to make you happy. This person is going to make you smile. This is also someone who really sees, it's like, this person is so happy, like inside. They, this person may be used to be with toxic people around them because for other reasons, like everybody wants to be with them for some reason. Uh, like materialistic way or they always wanted something from this person but you are like uh -uh. and that's why this person really want to invest in you they want to give some of you this person want to give you a gift yeah page of sword this person could be even checking on you on social media they are spying on you but i told you with the page of swords and page of a uh, cup this person really want to talk to you they want to communicate with you i think they keep doing it maybe indirectly because they can't reach out to you or right now you are not on the same page. There's something about communication problem here with the Five of Pentacles. This person also feel like you're not communicating or participating or you're not just expressing as much as they are doing it or as much as they want you. So they maybe even think that you are not interested in them as they are. This could be even your energy too, okay, for some of you. You maybe think it's not, mm -mm, there's no way that this person is into me. But what, the devil is always, remember, the devil is from always from both sides. So it's like, if you're obsessed with them, they're also obsessed with you, your energy, okay? You are still in this person's energy. Even though they want to run away from it, they don't want to think about it, but they keep thinking about you. So somehow, it's like you're really connected with this person. Another ace. Hmm, this is definitely someone who wants a new beginning with you. They're very passionate about you. So most of you, this is a new person who is, is like feeling the spark with you. You're really putting this person's heart on a fire. They're desiring you. They can't stop it. It's like... But this is not just only attraction towards you, a desire to get to know you. They're curious. They want to know that. They want to know everything about you. Some of you, this person is definitely doing some impulsive thing or posting something that's really trying to get your attention. And I think this person will talk. But maybe they want to see your reaction. They maybe keep trying to get your attention or, 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 or your reaction. They want to know how you feel. And then they're going to make a move. Yeah, this person, literally, King of Swords and Eight of Wands is about to make a move. I think you will let down your guards. You will talk to this person when they will reach out to you. With the Knight of Swords, yes, this is someone. Now, with the Knight of Cups and Knight of Swords, it's really giving me the vibe of, like, this person could be hot and cold with you if this is someone wanting to try again with you. 
okay maybe you have someone coming back from the past who want to talk want to communicate who want to try again but i also feel you have a new person but mostly i would say this is the same person that you're dealing with right now or let's say you have feelings for this person you just keep avoiding it you're like no i don't want to deal with any drama you may be even feeling left out in the cold rejected ignored in the past you're still processing i think from that thing but this person really going to make a move they're coming they're even going to give you a bouquet or flower or maybe this person is going to send you a message this person is very romantic by the way they're going to show you their romantic side yeah king of swords gemini libra aquarius i think it's aquarius uh we also have libra could be also like very romantic person we have eight of wands i think nothing can stop this person they really want to talk they want to communicate they will we have all the knights and pages is talk about communication and expression they will do it it's going to be a, a big gesture from this person it's just not like they just want to now don't want to give you the hints of communication they just want to try now they want to like let's talk about it let's let's just talk they're going to face you and they're going to like they're going to make a move i think you're going to definitely talk to this person very soon within eight days or weeks it's, it's coming it's very happening very soon yeah look at this high priestess you already know who this person is you feel it you sense it and i think universe already guiding you but you are in the process of healing, I understand, because you're really focusing on your healing. But at the same time, you're waiting for them. You want to see where this can go. So you're not rushing into it as you used to be in the past. You don't want to get obsessed. You don't want to get attached. You're focusing on your energy. And the more you're going to focus on this energy, on yourself, on detachment, the more this person is going to go crazy for you. Yeah, I think they, they really, really admire you. They they find you very mysterious. But at the same time, they feel the connection with you. Some of you could be even putting the spell on this person. Like you guys could be light workers, healers, intuitive, psychic by yourself. You even got that reading on this person. So you're getting chill, okay? If this is meant to be, it's it's going to bend to be. Some of you, you're even I'm seeing that you're seeing them in your dreams. They keep coming in your dreams. Or maybe you are also coming into this person's dream. So they're, it's like you are chill. You're fine. You're not just chasing. You just want to see where it can go. So I think this is that person coming. But I also seeing with the two of wands, you maybe need to make a choice between two people. Or the person maybe that you're waiting for is not coming. So this is the new person who wanted to try. So maybe that's a choice. Okay, some of you. But I mostly feel this is you. You're just in the process of healing. Now I'm also feeling for some of you, you are in the process of your making your own money. You just want to focus on your happiness. Some of you, you could be even going to get recognized because of your work, because of your craft. Um, some of you definitely need to trust your own intuition here. You may be even going to complete a degree or professional degree or something about craft. I'm hearing some type of a skill that you're going to learn that's going to help you in finance finances. Okay, there could be some type of offer coming that's going to change your life. But right now, it's like there's some type of a blockage. But you need to get out of this mindset that I can't do it. You can do it. Just trust yourself. It's just the matter of that. You need to trust yourself. And I'm also feeling whoever this person is coming, you already knew it's coming. You feel it. You sense it. And yes, it's going to happen. Because you're not going to be surprised, I'm hearing. Some of you, you're not going to be surprised. You could be even dealing with a Pisces, um, Capricorn, maybe, Virgo. Yeah, we have a twin flame. Oh, my God. Divine connection. Oh, my God. There you go. It's going to be a romantic connection. We also have change coming. Yes, in the transition. I think, yes, the big change coming. Your life is about to change forever. We have an enemy. Watch your back. Okay, be careful. Some of you, the person that you are not going to choose maybe is definitely going to be. Um, look, we have a text message, unsent messages. This person definitely going to. They want to talk to you. Lies, keeping secrets. Interesting karmic relations. Some of you, you need to let the past go. If you keep attach, attaching with your karmic then you're not going to be with your true divine counter, count, divine counterpart, basically. Look what I told you. We have a fated meeting. That's what this person's thing. It's an important connection in your life. It's meant to be, but you need to let the past go. Or maybe the past person will come, so you're going to be distracted. Please trust your intuition that who is your true love. We have a reconciliation, rebuild. This person maybe want to rebuild with you, the person that's coming back. But I also feel like you have a bond with someone else. Like it's going to be very intimate, very romantic, very like out of the blue and sudden. And you're going to feel very bliss and happy. 
yeah, there's something about music, I told you. Inspiration. So this person could be either posting songs or you could be listening the songs a lot or you both are connected with the songs a lot. I don't know. Yeah, you will hear from them. They're going to call you. There could be some legal matters here or disputes. They're going to tell you about this this matter maybe. Uh, some of you, you are attracting your non-committal ex or karmic partner. But this is someone that was going to be only committed to you, your true love. Taking a chance. This person definitely going to take a chance on you. There's an inner growth happening in you and this person. So be careful. The snake is coming. Not what it looks like. Yeah, the snake, karmic partner. I think this is that snake wanting to come back to you. Heartbreak and shatter. Because they want to try again. They're not going to accept it. They're not going to digest that. They will. They can even turn in, into snake or enemy of you. If you are going to be happy or you're going to choose someone else. They're even going to... I'm hearing that this person even going to do... Uh, you know, send uh, your... Even they're going to talk about... They, they will tell you about this new person about... Sorry. It, I'm so sorry. Yeah, this person even going to talk about your relationship or your text or your pictures. Or they're going to talk about your love story or things like, you know, like they're going to even trigger your partner. They're going to talk about... They're going to even keep sending these things to your partner. I'm telling you, I'm warning you. This person going to do that, whoever this ex is. It's like, if you're not going to choose them, they even going to bully you. They even gaslight you. They're going to even manipulate you. Like, choose me, love me, I'm like that. They're even going to, yeah, I'm telling you, they're going to warn you. That don't choose this person or something. Like, they're going to get, a, they're going to be, watch your back who is doing this. Because they can even send these things to your partner. That who is your current partner or whoever you're going to pick or going to be happy with. Because this person is not going to digest that. They can't accept that. This person could be even a narcissist. You're dealing with someone karmic. They, they, this is that person who put you in, in, in they were non-committal, like they just wanted to have you in their life. They want to, wanted to claim you. They just want you to always be there to obsess with them and go crazy for them. But you're moving towards a healthy energy because you're getting detached from this person. You're not falling for this person trap again. They're even coming to trap you again like, they, I'm sorry. They're going to apologize to you. Yeah, this is like ex-love, old spark. Some of you, you are going to choose this person again. You're going to get distracted. But you have your own divine true cotton part that you need to release and heal to figure it out that this is that person. You have a two people, I'm telling you. One is coming back from the past or there, this could be the energies right now is around you or in you. That's happening. There is definitely some karmic partner here or something that you need to let it go. It's a lie. This person is a liar. They can manipulate you. I don't care if they're he or she, whoever they are. Okay, they even can manipulate you by sending these things or your things or stuff or whatever you did even to your partner. Because they don't want you to be with that person. That who is your divine counterpart or your true love or twin flame or soulmate. Because it's going to be a fitting meeting with this person. Everything is going to go smooth between you and this person. Everything is going to go fine. But this person is when this person X will come out, it's going to be, oh my God, the blast. Because they're going to feel this spark again with you. Because you're getting detached. You're happy there. Or this could be their ex. Whoever is coming into your life. Their ex will come in between you and this person. But there is ex karmic snake energy. Maybe from both sides. You have this person have it. And they're not, definitely not going to. It's like there is a manipulation going on from other people. Especially from ex or past people. Wanting to come back between you and this person. Whoever is your true divine counterpart or true love. Or maybe you're going to get distracted. Don't get distracted because this person is going to try again. And this is going to be a test for you. And maybe that's where you're going to take your time. Like, what should I do? Know your worth. You are the empress. You deserve the love of your... You deserve the love. You deserve to be with someone who's going to treat you and put you on pedestal. So don't fall for the words. See the efforts. See the action. And I think this new person is definitely going to keep putting the efforts. They're going to keep, you know, making the efforts for you. So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. God bless you all.